Before I do a rough mix of my song, I'm going to convert my MIDI instruments to audio. And there are a couple reasons why I do that. With a MIDI instrument track, I can add effects and I can even route to a reverb or delay or other sends. But what if I bring this to a studio that doesn't have the same plugin that I have? That's a problem. And what if this plugin maybe comes out with a new version and I pull up this track a couple years later and the plugin doesn't exist anymore? So if I convert that to audio, I don't have to worry about having this plugin again. I can, of course, save this track so I have the MIDI information, but at least I have a nice audio file if this plugin ever disappears or I can't find it or I'm at a session that doesn't have it. This is even more problematic for a straight MIDI track. This B4 lower track, as you can see from this MIDI icon, is playing an external device. In my case, it's a Triton keyboard. And that audio is not being sent into the Pro Tools mixer. What I see here is MIDI information, but I don't have any audio going into the mixer. So I won't be able to mix this track unless I convert it to audio. And of course, if I bring this session to another studio, they won't have the same keyboard, won't have the same settings I made to my keyboard and so forth. So I like to convert all of my MIDI instruments and certainly my MIDI tracks to audio before I mix. So how do I do that? Well, let's start with the easy one, the instrument track. Right now, my B4 organ, which is using this DB33 plugin, comes with Pro Tools. Right now, this track is being routed to my main stereo outputs. I want to change it so it's routed to a new audio track. And the easiest way to do that is to just click on the output and choose New Track. It'll ask me what I want, mono or stereo or surround, the type of track, and we're going to choose audio, whether it's sample or tick based, and then a name. Let's call it B4 Upper Audio. And do I want to create it at the end of my track list or right next to my current track? And I'll create it right next to the current track. And as you can see, we have a new audio track before upper audio. What's interesting is my original instrument track has been routed now to B4 upper audio, which is what we call a bus. It's a virtual output. And the B4 upper audio track is getting its input from that same bus. So if I put my audio track in record mode and play back my upper organ, and I'll solo these so we can hear, Once I start recording, you can see the audio from here is being routed to my audio track. If I solo this, I'm not hearing it because it's being routed to this B4 upper audio and I can't hear that upper audio because it's not soloed. You can see the audio is getting there though. So let's take a look at what we have. Here's my B4 upper audio and it is indeed an audio track that is associated with my MIDI track. So now that I have audio, once I do the entire track, I can hide this track and make it inactive. Not only will it hide the MIDI information, but it will make that plugin inactive, which frees up some resources. Now, the second track is a little more problematic, the B4 lower, because I can't send this MIDI track to a bus. I can only send the MIDI information to some device that receives MIDI, in this case, my Triton keyboard. So I need to manually create an audio track, shift command N, and then command right arrow to go from mono to stereo. And let's call this one B4 lower audio. And I'll put a comment in here, Triton extreme patch number one, two, three, whatever it is. So I can remember how I got that audio. And now what I need to do is get the audio from here to here. Well, the only way I could do that is if the audio from my keyboard is somehow going to one of my Pro Tools input devices. And it so happens that I've connected the Triton so that the output of the Triton goes to my optical three and four ports on my Pro Tools interface. So if I play my keyboard, you won't hear that, but there's nothing coming here. Let me put this in record. 
nothing. But if I change this to optical 3-4, you can see I'm getting a signal there. If I want more of a signal, I have to not raise this because that just changes the volume of the MIDI notes, but I have to change the volume on my Pro Tools interface. And now when I press record, you can see the audio is being recorded. Here it is right here in the red. And sure enough, if all worked as I planned, I got a signal there. Now that's a pretty low signal, so I want to raise it up on my audio interface. And that's how we convert an instrument track and a MIDI track to audio.